Today we are learning how to multiply numbers using an area model. Let's say you wanted to figure out what 53 times 5 equaled. Well, to do this with an area model, we'll start by breaking up the number into these two boxes. The 5 in 53 represents 5 tens, or a value of 50. The 3 is 3 ones and has a value of 3. Now we're multiplying all of this by 5, which just has a value of 5. Now that we've split the numbers into pieces, we can start multiplying. In this blue box, we'll multiply 50 times 5. And you can do 50 times 5 because you know 5 times 5 is 25, and then there's one zero, so you'll put a zero in your answer. 50 times 5 is 250. Next, you can multiply 3 times 5 in this pink box. 3 times 5 just gives you 15. Now all you need to do is take your 250 and add the 15. You can add that 0 plus 5 gives you 5, 5 plus 1 gives you 6, and just this 2 is a 2. So your answer is 53 times 5 equals 265. Let's do one of these together. Let's figure out what 35 times 8 equals using an area model. Well, to start, let's break up the number 35. The 3 in 35 represents how much? That 3 is 3 tens. It has a value of 30. What is the value of the 5? Well, the 5 is 5 ones. It just has a value of 5. And we're multiplying by 8 ones, or just the number 8. Now, in the blue box, I'll be multiplying 30 times 8. And what does 30 times 8 equal? Well, you could just do 3 times 8 to get 24. And then the 1 zero means you put a zero in your answer. 30 times 8 is 240. What should I multiply in the pink box? In the pink box, I'll be multiplying 5 times 8, and 5 times 8 is just 40. Now, what do I need to do with these two numbers? Well, I need to take my 240 and add in the 40. When you add these together, what do you get? 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 4 is 8, and just the 2 is a 2. So 35 times 8 equals 280. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Use an area model to figure out what 43 times 7 equals. Well, on your area model, you'll start by breaking up 43. The 4 tens has a value of 40, and the 3 ones has a value of 3. You're multiplying all of this by 7. In the blue box, you multiply 40 times 7. And 40 times 7 is 4 times 7, or 28, with one extra zero, so 280. In the pink box, we multiply 3 times 7. 3 times 7 equals 21. When you add those together, 280 plus 21, you get 0 plus 1 is 1. 8 plus 2 is 10, so you regroup with a 0 on the bottom and your 10 next door. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So 43 times 7 equals 301. Here's your last one for today. Use an area model to figure out what 56 times 9 equals. Well, on an area model, you'll start by taking the 5 tens in 56 and writing it as 50. The 6 ones, you just write as 6. We're multiplying all of this by 9. In the blue box, you'll multiply 50 times 9. To do 50 times 9, multiply 5 times 9, which is 45, and then add a 0. 450. In the pink box, we'll multiply 6 times 9. 6 times 9 equals 54. Then you need to take 450 and add the 54. When you do this, 0 plus 4 is 4, 5 plus 5 is 10, so write down the 0 and carry your 1, and then 1 plus 4 is 5. 56 times 9 equals 504. From today, remember the three steps of multiplying with an area model. First, break up your number into each place value, then multiply each piece of the number on its own. Finally, you have to add all of the pieces together.